When it comes to health and life satisfaction, children in the developed world are suffering from growing inequality. UNICEF's new Innocenti report card, Fairness for Children, offers a detailed look at how children in the bottom 10% are falling behind their peers in the middle in 41 wealthy countries. The view is stark. Developed countries are failing the most vulnerable children. Children from homes with the lowest household incomes have lower life satisfaction levels, and they are typically more prone to unhealthy eating and exercise habits. Not a single country studied saw a narrowing of bottom-end inequality in health, with the gap actually widening in 25 countries. And adolescent girls? They persistently fall behind. In 10 countries out of 34, including Canada, Sweden, the United Kingdom, and the United States, the gender gap in health inequality has only increased since 2002. But there is good news on unhealthy eating and physical activity. Gaps in poor diet improved in most of the countries examined, and physical activity inequality narrowed in most countries. Every child deserves to feel safe and happy. And while children in the middle rate a life satisfaction level of 8 out of 10 in all countries, children at the lower end are falling far behind, 2.5 to 3 points lower. Plus, first or second generation migrant children consistently report lower life satisfaction than non-immigrant children. Sadly, at least 1 in 20 children in wealthy countries rate their life satisfaction at 4 or lower out of 10. We must shift the focus on inequality to the growing gap between families at the bottom and those in the middle. This is where inequality seriously affects the most vulnerable children, undermining their well-being and health into adulthood. Let's put the most vulnerable children at the forefront of efforts to build a more equal world.